Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about protein, okay, because lots of people um, don't really probably have any idea of what protein is and why it's so important for the human body. Um, you know, they hear about making sure to eat meat and beans and make sure they get enough protein in their diet from their friends, their family, maybe even their doctor, nutritionist, but they never really go into depth of exactly why is it so important for the body. So, everybody's pretty much heard, you know, that you have to eat protein, you know, that it's important for the body. And there's a lot of different foods that contain protein, but some of the best sources are from the animal kingdom. So things like beef and poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products. And then from the plant kingdom, you have things like nuts and seeds and legumes, like black beans and lentils, kidney beans. And those are pretty much the basic um, foods that contain plentiful source of this protein that we all really need. Um, so basically protein builds, maintains, and replaces the tissues in your body. Your muscles, your organs, and your immune system are made up mostly of protein. Your body uses the protein you eat to make lots of specialized protein molecules that have specific jobs. For instance, your body uses protein to make hemoglobin the part of red blood cells that carries oxygen to every part of your body. Other proteins are used to build cardiac muscle. What's that? Your heart. In fact, whether you're running or just hanging out, protein is doing important work like moving your legs, moving your lungs, and protecting you from disease. So as you can see, uh, protein is extremely important for your body. Without it, you would die. Now, you may have heard that proteins are amino acids. When you eat foods that contain protein, the digestive juices in your stomach and intestine go to work. They break down the protein in food into basic units called amino acids. The amino acids can then be reused to make the proteins your body needs to maintain muscles, bones, blood, and body organs. Proteins are sometimes described as long necklaces with differently shaped beads. Each bead is a small amino acid. These amino acids can join together to make thousands of different proteins. Scientists have found many different amino acids and proteins, but 22 of them are very important to human health. Of those 22 amino acids, your body can make 13 of them with, without you ever thinking about it. Your body can't make the other 9 amino acids, but you can get them by eating protein-rich foods. They are called essential amino acids because it's essential that you get them from the foods you eat. Now, there's different types of proteins. Protein from animal sources, such as meat and milk, is called complete because it contains all nine of the essential amino acids. Most vegetable protein is considered incomplete because it lacks one or more of the essential amino acids. This can be a concern for someone who doesn't eat meat or milk products. But, people who eat a vegetarian diet can still get all of their essential amino acids by eating a wide variety of protein-rich vegetable foods. For instance, you can get all the amino acids you need from peanuts alone, but if you have peanut butter on whole grain bread, you're set. You can't get all the amino acids, sorry about that. Likewise, red beans won't give you everything you need, but red beans and rice will do the trick. So, basically, the protein, you know, if you eat an egg, if you eat some fish, if you eat a piece of chicken, you're going to get all of the essential amino acids. But if you say you only strictly eat peanuts, then you won't get all of the essential amino acids. But because people eat a variety of foods and on vegetarian diets, they more than likely are going to get all of the essential amino acids. The question is the bioavailability of those proteins and the quantity of them in the diet. Because it's been shown, you know, through looking at various studies and individuals that folks who eat primarily vegan or vegetarian diets tend to have lower quantities and um, qualities of proteins, which 
thus impacts the the body's ability to manufacture collagen, which is plentiful in the skin, which can thus show up as wrinkles, aging process, things like that. And a lot of times when people go on strict vegetarian vegan diets, they will oftentimes run into these problems. In order to find out how much protein that you need, it's important to basically take, okay, your body weight and then divide that by two. So, for example, if uh, <clears throat> I weigh like 153 pounds, so I need about around 70 grams of protein a day, if you divide that by two. Just to give you a, an, an example of how to figure that out. Um, if you're a child, you know, they only need about 0 0.5 grams of protein for every pound that they weigh. And as you get older, as you become an adult, you need, your protein needs will increase. So, protein, as you can see, is very important. And in the next video, I want to talk about collagen, because protein makes collagen in your body. And you may have seen that a lot of these um, companies now are selling and have been selling a lot of these collagen supplements, claiming that it will you know, decrease wrinkles, slow down the aging process, and things like that. I don't want to go over and see if any of that has any truth to it, and, you know, why is collagen so important. So hopefully this video gives you a good understanding of protein, why it's important, and, you know, this is something that I think a lot of people, you know, don't think about when they're thinking about going vegetarian or vegan or going on some, you know, um, limited um, diet because a lot of times problems will happen over time. You may not catch it early on and the body really does need a lot of these um, resources that you give yourself when you eat food so that the body can manufacture and build the important things that it needs in the body to keep you healthy. So, it's definitely nothing to play around with, and, you know, just be mindful and careful of anyone telling you that you don't need any protein in your diet, or that you can get by on very, very little. It is true that you can get by on very, very little of anything, but why should we only want to survive when, ideally, we should want to be as healthy as we can be, and really thrive, and be as healthy as possible. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.